guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to share with you guys how I get my coupons and I know a lot of people ask these questions when you're barely starting off so these series of videos are going to be coming up on my channel every Tuesday which is going to be like a how to start couponing uh, videos so starting off with the very first question which is how do I get my coupons? So this video is going to touch base on how I was able to get coupons when I got started, how did I do it, and all of that. So if you guys have any questions, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Fernanda. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're new to couponing, if you have questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to try to answer those questions on a Tuesday video. So every Tuesday there will be new videos coming up concerning how to start couponing so let's just go ahead and get started guys okay, so every sunday there are going to be coupons in your newspapers so the coupons will come in little uh pamphlets what are these called inserts they're called inserts i'm sorry they're gonna be coming in inserts that look something like this not exactly like it this is for example a smart source insert from the beginning of december so it looks like this, it looks like a little booklet, and then inside you will be able to find the coupons. So for example, there's some cereal coupons and soup, stuff like that. So anyways, these come on every Sunday newspaper. So how do you get your newspapers? First off, I know a lot of people can get them like out on the street, but if you are couponing, I want you guys to save your money and make sure that you're saving money on newspapers as well. Because to me, it makes no sense if you go out and you spend $3 per newspaper, you're just, you know, you could have been saving that money and getting them for a dollar instead. So very first thing that I did was when I started couponing I would go to the Dollar Tree in my area and get the newspapers there on Sunday morning but back in the day there wasn't a lot of couponers in my area at least not exactly where I lived the Dollar Tree was new there weren't there weren't a lot of couponers so I was able to get in there at 9 9 15 and still be able to get uh, three newspapers nowadays is completely different at least in my area it is I have to be there at 8 30 Dollar Tree opens at 9 in the morning if I want to get my newspapers from the Dollar Tree I would have to be there at 8 30 in the morning get in line and hope and pray that Dollar Tree gets enough coupons that Sunday for everybody to get at least one so they are limiting one from anywhere from one to three per customer so it is a little more tiring because it's not for sure that I'm going to get my newspapers. But if you're just starting off and you don't know the game yet, I would suggest that you start off like that. So you know exactly where you're getting yourself into. And if this is not for you, then you know you haven't made a commitment to the newspaper just yet. But yes, newspapers do cost only a dollar. The Dollar Tree would make you either one to three per customer so if you guys want more um newspapers i've seen people get out of their cars with like five members of their family and each get a newspaper or two so i'm not suggesting that you guys do that but if you need to then you know i will talk to the manager at dollar tree and see how many they can get again i don't i don't want you guys to like go out there and like you know get other people angry because I've seen it happen a lot when there's people in front of someone else and they get all the newspapers and yeah, I've seen it happen. So there's one option. If you're just starting off, I would suggest that you go towards that. And then once you know the game, once you're just, once you're like better at it, I guess I can say, and you know that this is something that you want to continue doing, then I would suggest getting into contact with your local newspapers in my area at least it is the houston chronicle and they're always running promotions on sunday only newspaper delivery to your home so for example in my area i was able to find the houston chronicle newspaper delivery for a dollar 
per newspaper straight to my door. So, so as soon as I found that promotion, I took advantage of it and I made a year contract with the Houston Chronicle. And now I get them delivered to my home, five newspapers a, uh, every Sunday for a dollar a piece. Now, if you do not have a Dollar Tree nearby or anything like that, I know that Sunday newspapers can run anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty through your newspaper company. So I would just do the math, see how much you can actually pay per newspaper. I would not pay any more than a dollar fifty per newspaper, just considering that in my case at least I have two Dollar Trees really close to my apartment that I can go to and get newspapers for a dollar. So if you're not like that, if your Dollar Tree is too far away or anything like that, then yeah, I would suggest you pay a little more because you don't want to spend gas, you know, mileage, time, and all these things just trying to get one or two newspapers. I hope I'm making sense in this video. Please let me know if I am. So there are two options, like I said. One is just going to the Dollar Tree, getting them for a dollar, and two is contacting your local newspaper and see what deals they have. They will run deals every single week, at least the Houston Chronicle does. It's just about waiting for the right time to make a commitment to the newspaper because there are times where the newspaper, uh, their deals is like $2 per newspaper. Well, you wanna wait. You wanna wait until it's the right time to make a contract with them. I said I would spend anywhere from $1 to $1.50 depending on how close your Dollar Tree is. So I hope I'm making sense with that. The third way of getting coupons is through online getting them at coupons.com which is the easiest and fastest way of doing it if you don't have a Dollar Tree nearby and you don't want to commit to a newspaper delivery. I will suggest you get a wireless printer and you can print coupons from your computer and from your phone and I believe some tablets as well. So coupons.com, I will leave a link down below to coupons.com, is a website where you can clip coupons and print them out at your own printer. The problem with that is that they do limit you to like coupons per device. So for example, if you have if you want to get some Colgate toothpaste coupons, you can get two Colgate toothpaste coupons printed from your computer, two Colgate coupons printed from your phone, two Colgate coupons printed from your husband's phone, from your kid's phone, anywhere like that. It's just two like coupons per device. So you can get as many coupons as you want as long as they're all different, but you do get limits of to like coupons. Hope that makes sense. Uh, again, I know that, for example, my printer does not work for uh, an iPad. For some reason, the iPad uh, tablet that my husband has cannot get any printed coupons from there. But I can print coupons from my phone, I can print coupons from his phone, from our computer, so that's already six like coupons that I can print from there. Again, it is the cheapest, I guess you can say, and easiest way of getting them without having to go to the Dollar Tree and without having them delivered to your house. So, yeah, that is all that I'm going to go through today. I hope you'll have a great rest of the day. Don't forget, if you guys have any questions, if I was not clear on something, please let me know in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer all of your questions. If you guys have any questions or any topics that you want me to go over in next week's video, please also let me know about that. And yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to subscribe, like my channel, and share this with your friends who are starting to coupon or if they might be interested in something like this. And I will be talking to you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.